this or like this, just move up, okay. take the key, and get as much as you can, not just a little, try to get as much as you can, as far as you can. Now with some people, this can already finish them. Just going back, but it's usually not enough. I would recommend, for example, to try this, get over here and just push the hand. It's a little bit of a neck crank, but it's also a choke. If he's not tapping from this, try to get the lapel around here. Now you have much more leverage, uh, like pressure from the pole. If this still is not enough, be careful now because you're giving up your seat belt because that's what keeps him there. Take this. Nice, like really strong. If he can, if somebody can take this, I don't know, and he's like a monster. <laughs> you can actually, I think, literally just break somebody's neck. Like this. You okay? <laughs> okay. So, and just like, I'm not gonna be able to show you all of the things that you can do for me. It's like really so complex. You can go to the crucifix, you can, this is what I call like the actual human backpack. It's like one seat belt and another one. And like with this, there's no getting out. No matter how good this guy is, if I just keep this, he's gonna stay in because like, it's like a double seat belt. So that's a very interesting point of control, no matter how strong or how technically is. If I manage to get this, he's like pretty fucked, at least when it comes to control. Yeah, and always try to at least Keep one, like for example, when I go for this, and it's like, you know, now I don't have control. He could get out of it now, right? That's why you need to be always trying to at least have head and one arm somehow, no matter how. Like for example, like this, now I have both. Now I can do something like this. At least, you know, try to not get too loose. You always have to at least control one, the head and one arm, this one and this one. So let's at first just start with this. Go over here. This. Yeah. Also, also play around with this principle. Just try to see how you can control somebody even without hooks, without much stress. Yeah. Just you can try to move around a little, and I just stay here. It's, it's like barely, barely any strength usage for me. It's so easy. Yeah. So you can try this. Move also if it's too tight. Can just let go like here a little, you know, until you can reach your arm through. You can start like this first, you can start like this. If the lapel is long enough, this is pretty powerful, but sometimes it's too short, then you have to go like this and just, you yeah? know? And then the last step is really taking this and make it a little bit more loose so you don't die. And just give the back up and basically, in the perfect way, it would be like this, you turn away. To the skies and he's like looking to the earth and basically you live and he dies so let's try this a little bit it's also good as a transition to many other attacks yeah start best here good control then you can go sideways and it, it Probably pretty obvious now. You can just bring the leg here. It's like a bow and arrow. Yeah, it's pretty standard. And you can still attack the arm. It's like you can slowly attack the arm without having the risk of him running away, you know? And you can also switch like this. Still work the arm. It's like it's always stressful if you attack a choke and arm lock at the same time, uh, leaving it a little bit loose so he doesn't choke. <laughs> yeah? You can keep him under control and then choke him and armbar him at the same time. Very annoying. Okay. One more time. And also as transition, uh, transition to the crucifix, it's a pretty nice entry. Yeah, let's go slowly. It's really cool. I have a seat belt even though I'm moving around. It's like a huge advantage that you usually don't have. have. Look here, you see it tries to like, it's good for him to escape, but I still have the seat belt. I can still also do the basic stuff, you know, but it's pretty boring. So. Uh, if you can't get up here, just slowly let go a little until you can get up and then and just choke him. Uh, if this is still not enough, you can try this. And it's like normally everybody taps already, just for crazy freaks who just have a huge ass neck. So, <laughs> <laughs> if you can get there, there is, there is a bunch of Yeah, neck. but his body is also big, probably you will not get this. That's also a thing. You're my friend. That's also a thing. <laughs> if both are very small and thin, you can just like 
turn it around everywhere, but if one of them is very big or both are very big, you're only going to get this and then try the first choke always. You, the lapel is just not going to be long enough because the guy is like huge. So you can, the first choke usually works. That, uh, because of that, even it works better because he's bigger, you know, because like, for example, here, if I let go just a little of the thing too much of the lapel, there's like a little bit too much space. But if he was a little bit bigger, I can like, you know, really pull better because it's already stiff because of the size and I can really, you know, get all my strength into it. So let's go for this choke and um, also try to transition to the crucifix. But for that, you should do it like this. So have this backpack thing, go up, and then you can easily go there without risking like this. Or if you can't get in, first go here. And then you can continue with other things. You can still try to choke him here. Try all the things that I showed before. Yeah? So try those two things. That choke here. Transitioning to the armor and taking the crucifix. Okay, and let's go. So here we are again. The thing is with the crucifix, um, of course, you can have this and go for the normal crucifix that you're basically supposed to take on this side. But you can also take this one. Depends on the scramble, what happens. So I lose my hooks, or I never had them. And I go over here, and I still have this great control. And look, same thing. I can go up, can either go with this leg if I'm flexible enough. If not, I try to go with this one. And I have, this is like slightly different. It's still a crucifix, but it's not like the one that you had just now. It's like a little bit less effective. This one is good for small people and flexible people. You can like attack the arm, you know, you can try to. This is like very, you don't see what you're doing, but you need to feel what's going on here. You need to stay tight with your thighs and with your, with your shin bones, uh, with your shins, because he will get out if you just play around. You need to be really tight, whatever you're trying here. Yeah. To just play around a little bit. Can be an armor, a kimura, or a um, americana. Or what's really strong is also this one. Yeah. And if I lose it, still so there's a very powerful choke. Oops, sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. One more time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm here. Yeah, I have this. Lose my hooks, or maybe I give them up, whatever. Yeah, you have to, you have to keep them too tight. If I keep him too easy, he will slide down. Yeah, and then get this arm up, and then you just fish for the arm. You just left leg, right leg, or both. And, sorry. Whatever you want. There's even a nice option here for, um, I don't know if you know this move, but it's very painful, like a calf slicer. If you're like very good at it, you can also do it like only with the legs, but it's like playing around. Usually it will not work on a really tough guy, but just so you know it, maybe if somebody tries it on you, so you're safe. It's really cool. I have one free hand and still have this uh, seat belt basically. An attack here. can even go back again. It's like a really nice position to play around. And the last one, try to get it very tight and stay close and can take the grip here and just... So a little bit of a neck crank, a little bit of a choke. One more time. Huh? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So I have this again. Here. Like this. Usually in a fight, the guy would scramble and I don't need to stress myself much. But if he doesn't, if he just stays with his butt on the ground, just move to one side, move to the other, until you get whatever you want, because he cannot get away. You can even make it tighter all the time. If, if you seem like it is getting loose, just make your grip tighter again. Yeah, and then go up here and try to catch it. Yeah, and like, Americana, Amba. I'm not gonna show all the details how to do this, because it's gonna take too long. You know, I'm just telling you that that's the option. Just play around and try to, you know, for the Americana and the, Ameri the, the Kimura, you need to move your hips sideways. And for the armbar, you just need to slide down and stretch you know, like this with both feet. And the other one is like, you can use this arm or even this one. This is pretty simple. You just pull and get your knee, your left knee out. You know? And the last one, the choke. You need to stay still in this one. Yes. And then not just pull, you kind of try to push him to the ground and go forward. 
Yeah? That's it. Let's try it. So I start again from the back mount. The thing is, it's also not just for attack, a good position. It's very interesting for the transition when he, when he scrambles or if he doesn't scramble. If I just want to transition, I can pretty easily go to the mount here without having to risk so any bad effects on me. And I still can do a lot of attacks here. And if, if he's super defensive, I can even go back again. It's like really hard for him to get out of this. Best is if I have the body triangle. It's not going to work on you. <laughs> Impossible. But if you can get the body triangle, it's super. Then you don't even have to be so strong with the seat first. Then you can start getting loose and playing around and doing all kinds of funny shits. Like, for example, what I like sometimes to do, is normal back, if I have a body triangle, take this thing, either put it here, not with the teeth, you're gonna lose all your teeth, <laughs> just the mouth. And then show him, show him this. He needs to see it. Have it like this. <laughs> and then he will usually try to pull back. You just give this back, just pull here. <laughs> it's, like, it's very tricky, but it can work. But only if the gi is long enough. If it's not long enough, then it's gonna be hard. But you can just, this is like a this little different system, but. If you have a good control with the legs and he doesn't know how to counter this because there are counters to this, yeah, like this, for example. So if, he, if you feel this, then just give it up and go back to the normal thing. But if you have this and you see he's not countering you, you can always try, even, even without this first here, you can just leave it and first just go really, really violent, like all people go, they just like, and then he sees this and tries to pull my arm back, you just switch it. And then just go back. It's more like a neck crank. But it's just like a little thing, it's not so important, just you can try it out. Let's continue with the actual thing. See, you're here, you just slowly go to the mount. Now you can go to the normal mount, you can try to choke him here again. Hope everybody sees this, the same choke that I did at the beginning. Yeah. You can still go again to armbar, attack more here. If it doesn't look good, you can just go back again completely and go to your safe position. And Try again from the start. Yeah? It's also from the mount, like the mount. When you start it from the mount, you can do the same thing. You can just get my head in there. And yeah, you can try arm triangle, but tomorrow I'm gonna show a class why the arm triangle isn't so good. Now you can either get this part here or you can get the other one here. Both of it works. You just go here and then go to the back. And do the choke again, go for the armbar, this one. It's all together, you know, you can just try out a little bit, you yeah? So, I want you to show it to another guy, maybe. Yeah. You know, everybody sees it. Who is it? Stefan? Or anybody, you can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah first, first, the tricky one. Like, you always see this in uh, all kinds of competitions. The guys just go like, you know, like, Oh, really hard and just want to finish here and everybody just pulls my arm down and I pull up and before he pulls it down I just give it here to me and then just go back and if, yeah if he doesn't tap early you need to put the arm here yeah it's a possibility but it only works if the gi is really long if it's too short it's not gonna work so the actual thing was like this I'm here I just go sideways get this leg over here and try to stay as tight as you can yeah. And go down like this, just stay like this, and then just the arm here, and just pull up. Yeah. Not enough to tap him, just go back to the arm. I can also try it here again. I can try this thing again, or work the arm bar. Look, this is pretty interesting here, here, like complete connection and working all together. Yeah. So let's try this. Okay, let's go. Uh, everything that I did um, from here also works from here. Yeah, it's almost the same. It's a little bit less options, a little bit less like attacks, but so you go like this. Do the same that you did before as deep as possible. Then you just slowly turn here. Look, this this is like almost a standard choke, just with my lapel instead of his lapel. And then you can continue here. And with this one, I would get the leg in here. And then just pull. Yeah? You can still attack the arm all the time. Um, you can also uh, this if the gi is long enough. It's not, if it's not long enough, just stay here. Yeah, go up, slowly. It's like a, this is like a bow and arrow almost. It's the same. You can, it's all the same principles. You just 
using it with your lapel instead of his lapel. No? Up. Here. Don't, but this one is too hard. This, in this case, it's like, I can do it because I'm flexible, but normally, look, this is much easier. You know, I don't even have to pull so much. You know? And of course, you can also go to the crucifixes. Like, you open up. Yeah, but this one is like a little bit harder because you don't have that, exactly, you don't have that thing. That's why I wouldn't recommend you go for it, but I'm just telling you it's possible. You can, for example, you still have the advantage of this lapel arm, so you have one arm free and you can try to work it into the crucifix instead. And still, same attacks now. This shit, you know, the, the, all the arm locks, everything is possible. And still also the choke, it's exactly the same as before. You know, just go up, same thing. Yeah. And also this, like, if you want to go to the other side, same thing. Yeah, you're here again. You take this thing, you go up, and then keep it as tight as possible. And then you know, go off the side. And now you have the arm in, so it's, again, the easy thing. Let's go up and you can catch him here. Same thing again, the, all the submissions here, arm locks. Um, straight down, but... Just try to stay as tight as possible while you're switching here, so you don't lose him. It's very important. Always this, this elbow, I need to be behind it. From here he might pull out, so always stay like this. And then you can even go like this for the Kimura. And yeah, you can, if you do lose it again, you can do this thing. Same thing. Everything is same, just from bottom. Okay? So let's try this one and then maybe one more and then it's it. Okay, let's go. So, um, one more, couple more things that you can, that you maybe like to think about when it comes to this. Um, for example, maybe the guy knows this already and I did it to him a couple times, yeah, and he just gets his head out, like, you know, you try, yeah. If this happens, you can basically try the same from the other side. You know, I, good, now I have even his arm, but in case I don't get his arm, I just have this. And this is like the re reverse kind of thing. You can also do it actively. You don't have to do go for here, you can just do the reverse thing, go from seat belt, go up. And just instead of taking this one, you take this one. Same move. Of course, you have a little less options here, you can choke him here a little, maybe don't work. But you can also go out and do the same kind of thing. Yeah, you can go with the leg here, arm is still there. You can it's just the same attack with uh, cross collar and uh, cross lapel instead of normal lapel. Instead of uh, taking this one, you know, it's the same. Instead of this, yeah, he gets it over it. Okay, then I try, try it from the cross side. It's the same. I double lapel, this uh, double backpack, this and this. You can go for all the other attacks. Just you have a little bit less options with this one, but it's therefore the options that you have are stronger. Look, same stuff that I did in the beginning. Yeah, just you can try it. Try this one or you no. Know, Try this one, but I would always recommend you to try um, like from a good control first. You know, let's go like this, and then normally I would take this one, but I can also take this one instead yeah, and try a lot of chokes here. Can also still transition to look, also the neck crank can work here. It's like pretty nasty, but it can work. Yeah, but be careful with the neck. And a little few, it's like the hours over, but there are like a few things that you can add to this. You can check them out, like a lot of people have like, like for example this. I took the one from the bottom, and yeah, his arm goes up. Yeah. And then I go over here, maybe he doesn't even know what I'm trying here, but this is very interesting. Once I have this, I can try really hard to pull his arm and, you know, get rid of his arm basically, and then he's like one arm, and I can try to choke him more. I can continue with stuff like this. And his arm is still trapped. It's like very interesting. You know, you can slowly work the arm bar and just just this one, this one little thing here to get the lapel over the arm. That's all I mean. And I just can pull it back. And it's really hard for him to defend. And just go back. Just, he has like one arm to defend. And if he like defends with the other one, yeah, then I go for arm bars here. Yeah? Just try to get the arm like this. There are like many ways to try these things. You can try triangles, can go back to this one, just, just this little thing here. 
And also, like for example, if I do it, this one here, and his arm is on top. Yeah? You can try to get this around here too. Also very annoying for him. I can move his arm a lot. He's very trapped here. I can basically go for triangles really well. Can work here, you know, get the elbow up. And it's also like a very annoying choke. Are you okay? <laughs> and attack him here. And even, like for example, look, I'm going up and I lose everything, but still I have this arm. I can still attack. They call this the, the French handcuffs. Some guy, uh, something, Michael Lesko from France does this. He wraps them always around like this and then he does all kinds of shit with it. So have fun, just try the stuff. Only remember like the control, this is all. This and this, this is all you need to remember. From there you can just try everything. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. It's a lot of stuff, but just keep playing, it's really fun. And I think it's very effective. I didn't see many people do this, only one guy, like last competition as I saw some black belt from Holland do, do this thing. And I was like, hey, he's doing my shit. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it.